All right then, gang, so welcome to your next coding challenge. This one is also going to be a UX-focused one, which needs a little bit of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript knowledge. So again, if you don't know much about any of those things, maybe try watching my courses on all three of those topics first of all. The links to those are going to be down below the video. Anyway, the challenge this time around is to offer some live feedback to a user as they enter an email into this input. So whenever we detect that the value of the input is a valid email address, we animate the green tick and also color the input border green too. Then when the value becomes invalid again, we animate out the green tick and the border goes gray again. So in this challenge, there's three key things that you really need to focus on. The first one is being able to detect whether the value inside the input is a valid email address whenever a user presses a key inside it. And for that, you're going to need to use a regular expression. Now, I'm going to leave a link to a tutorial on my YouTube channel all about how to make a regular expression for an email address. So feel free to reference that to help you out. The second thing you need to figure out is how to color the border of the input field when we have a valid email, then change it back to gray when it's not valid again. And the third thing you need to solve is how to animate in this tick icon next to the import when we have a valid email address and then animate it back out when it's not valid anymore. So I think this challenge is going to combine a few different problems that you have to think about, which is nice. And by the way, I don't want you to rely on the standard browser form validation by using the email type import and the required attribute for this problem, because I want you to be able to think about how to solve it using your own logic and then offer your own live feedback to the user like this green tick right here. Now, I'm going to start you off with a starter project, which looks something like this. It's just a form field on the page with no extra validation or anything like that. And when we enter an email address into this, we don't get any kind of live feedback to say that it's valid. So your job is to take it from this point to the final product, which is this that I just showed you. So the starter project is on this repo on GitHub coding challenges. Again, the link is going to be down below. And in order to get it, you need to select from the branch drop down challenge to start. And then you can download this project by clicking on the code button and then downloading a zip folder. So once you've downloaded that folder, you want to extract all so we can access the project folder. And that should just take a second. And then this is the folder right here. We want to open up inside VS Code. So let's do that as well. And here we go. This is the starter project. So let me just quickly walk you through this. It's dead simple. So first of all, we have an index.html file. And inside there, we have a head. And we have a link to this thing right here, which is a Google Fonts. And it's for material icons. Now, the reason we're loading that in is so that we can use material icons down here to get the tick icon. So if we want to use one of these icons, then all we have to do is give something a class of material icons like so, and then whatever the icon name is, each icon has its own class. And you can look that up by just Googling Google material icons. All right. So we load that in first of all, then we have our own style sheet, which we'll take a look at in a second, and then a title. Now down here in the body, dead simple, we just have a form. Then we have a div with a class of field for the form field. The field has a label right here that says enter your email. Then the input is a type of text, and then a name of email and an ID of email. So remember, I said don't use type email for this challenge because that's going to enable some browser uh, validation when you submit a form. Now, what I want you to do is practice your live validation. So as a user is typing into the input field, then we can kind of validate the email. Now, you can use email and do that if you want to as well. I just wanted to kind of make it clear that all of this validation logic is going to be your own. All right, so then after that, we have this tick icon right here as well. And then at the bottom, we have this script linking to index.js. So this is where all of your logic is going to live. Now, inside index.css, we just have some base styles right here. 
So the body, we give a background of a very light gray, text align center, font size 1.4 M's just to make things a bit bigger and a font family of Verdana. Then the form itself, we give a background of white, a margin of 200 pixels top and bottom, auto left and right, and then a padding of 20 pixels all the way around, border radius of 10 pixels just to soften up the form box. Display is inline block. And then after that, we say form and the field inside that. So this div right here, we say displays flex so that each of these things sits next to each other. All right, left to right, and then align items center. All right then. So after that, we have the form input and we give that a margin of zero top and bottom, 16 pixels left and right. And that's just gonna spread it out from this on the left and this on the right. And then the border is two pixels, solid and a gray color. Border radius, four pixels, just to soften the corners. And then a padding of four pixels. So that's all the base styles. Your solution styles can go down here. Now what I'd like to do is preview this in a browser. And remember to do this, I'm using the package live server, which you can search for up here by typing live server like so and it's going to hopefully show up it's this package you need to install when you do that you can right click over here and we can open this up in a live server it's going to open in a browser for you and this is the starter project right so as you can see there's no validation in place if i just type in any old email address we always get the tick it's not going green so i want you to get from this to the end point which i showed you before and remember that looks something like this so to begin with the tick doesn't show but as i start to type in an email mario at net ninja dot dev when it becomes valid we get that tick animating in this goes green and then when i start to delete and it's no longer a valid email address the tick goes away and the border goes great again so this is your end goal right here this is what you're aiming for so give this a good go and I'm going to post my solution tomorrow.